friends, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Trina, and in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you the pages of all of my journals for the month of October. For this video, I am going to be reversing the order. I will first flip through the pages of like, um, this is my uh, weekly memory keeping, like list making journal, and then my commonplace, and then I will flip through the October pages of my 365 journal. So first off, I'm going to um, flip through the ECS one first. This is a weekly notepad that I transformed into a sort of weekly memory keeping and this is actually falling apart. Um, I did use this when I was in college so most of like the pages um, in the front here are torn up um, because the glue is not sticky anymore so I'm just um, trying to make use out of this as much as I can. I will zoom in just a little bit so you could see um, what I do here is basically just write the day on the slot and then whenever there's something that comes up I am just going to like write it down and it's mostly for like my shiny hunting for tracking all of like um, my uh, anime that I watch books that I read shinies that I got um, travel like where we eat out and um, updates and such um, birthdays and I do add here at the bottom on the free note like a to-do list that I want to accomplish for the week. I don't normally accomplish all of them, but I do like to uh, see if like a certain task that I put down I did that week or like how many weeks did it take for me to finish it. And I do like add a lot of like stickers here and there just because um, I wanted to use up some of the stuff that I have. So this is like the place where I could play around with like mini stickers. So this is October. I do have here like... Um, added uh, printouts or like um, bits and pieces from like magazines that I can't find anywhere else to put so and also like different stickers uh, different printouts I letter sometimes here and have fun with it sometimes I just leave it up to like writing very simple stuff and if there's nothing that's going on in day I'll just add a sticker for that whole day and just leave it be and this is the last of the October because October bleeds into November for the Halloween week so I do add like a bit of like the sweets sticker as well as like a Halloween pumpkin here and just added like um, the books that I've read throughout the week whatever uh, happened and that is how I um, populate these boxes for my weekly memory keeping this is just for me to remember what I exactly did that day whether or not it was productive or whatever is the reason why I did not do anything productive I might have binge watched or something that's like just a reminder for me next we have here is my commonplace book which is kind of dusty I need to clean this up again um, but yeah um, this has actually quite a bit for this month um, I am like leaning into like this being a um, collections um, ring binder rather than a commonplace book to be perfectly honest, I do have like a pocket here of a booster pack from Vanguard. I just uh, placed in here like the concert ticket, uh, like Genshin Impact for their web event. I just printed it out and tuck it in here for memory keeping sake. And also this is for like the Vanguard. Um, I just stuck it in here. Um, these are all of the shinies that I got for the month of October. Not that much, but uh, it's still uh, exciting because I did buy uh, Pokemon Violet for my birthday this month. So I got around to like uh, shiny hunt in that game as well. Um, this is uh, all of like the gacha that I did for the month. Um, I did not include like Cookie Run Kingdom in here because there are some pulls there, but it's like more common. Um, I did get like on my birthday the Marius card for um, a Bickerlon event. Um, the crystals event and I got him on my first 10 poll and then uh, also on my first 10 like after Imbibitor Lene um, Dan Heng I got not one but two of Jing Liu so I got E1 Jing Liu in like a 10 poll after <laughs> Imbibitor Lene I also printed out all of like the screenshots and pictures of um, Pokemon Violet these are all of the gym leaders and um, these are the team star uh, admins or captains or whatever and this is with um, the titan badges and it's just like a little memory keeping I I do really enjoy making this page and then we have here I did like some uh, cleaning when it comes to like my old like magazine clippings and such for the month of October and I did come across like pages of like um, dreaming and nightmares and how to like get better uh, sleep how to remember your dreams better and so all of those like um, uh, pages that I've kept from that article I just stuck it in here like these um, this is also like a magazine page but I really like 
this outfit so i decided to just um cut it out and make it into a page but also use the back uh, part of the page to add more of my cutouts this is pretty long so i decided to just fold it over for that page and like bad dreams and turning your dreams into uh, a bad dream into a good one and that is the end of like my clippings um, this spread is for like my book haul and Big Bad Wolf. My best friend and I went there the day after my birthday and these are all of the books that I have bought during that um, uh, sale. Next we have here is the disc test assessment. I am a supporter. Although sometimes I don't really feel like this is me at the moment but I did like uh, put it in a cutout of a page here and just uh, place it there. This is from the last um, event, uh, like poetry event with Venti and Hu Tao. And I just written down here all of like the poems that I find very beautiful from that Genshin event. And yeah. I do have a divider here, just a simple like colored page that I didn't write anything in here. And this is like the page wherein I thought this is more of like a collections journal rather than a commonplace one because I have uh, written down here like um, the best um, Pokemon for five star terror raids. Um, just a little flap here so that I could remember which Pokemon that I would probably um, train up in order to bring to Terra Raids. This is like the sparkling sandwich um, for shiny hunting, the recipes. And I will probably keep these, or, or these are the Her Herba Mystica drops for specific uh, type of Herba Mystica as well as the specific Pokemon, uh, five-star Pokemon to fight if you want to look for these Herba Mysticas. Um, they are rare drops in like Terra Raid dance. Um, that are used in sparkling sandwiches in order to get um, boost in your shiny, uh, shiny hunting. Um, so yeah, I am going to keep these pages in here and not transfer them over to my storage just for like reference. And also these ones, I did like, I'm actually quite proud of myself. I didn't even use a ruler here when I lined this, but it's uh, fairly straight. Um, but these uh, few pages here, I only have two, are like the anime that I really want to watch or rewatch, um, but they are quite long. So I am going to like keep adding to this list. I haven't continued um, writing in here uh, as of the moment, but I saved like two pages for that list. And then this one, this is from like a wedding or like a what I call this jewelry pawn shop from Hong Kong, the a brochure that they have. And dad brought it home and said uh, I might use it for like my journals and such. And I decided since they have like a graph here or like. Um, area here to write in. I am going to be using this as like my list of books that I want to look up, maybe an ebook or a PDF or maybe buy it physically if I come across it. I haven't updated this as well, but I do have like a bunch of books that, that I'm looking forward to read. Next we have here is another like personality test. Um, this was like the innate personality. It was um, like in the range for like a short amount of time and I got like the water element and somehow reading this um, I also don't resonate with this well, but uh, it's fine. I am like a very much always worried um, and no news is good news is very much me, but the character traits, like for example, soft-spoken, I don't think I am. Um, monochrome artist, also I don't think I am, but still, it's uh, a fun little thing. And that is like the last page for all of the no October ones. Um, this is for the November one. I haven't like um, hole punched that yet. So that is uh, all of the pages for October in my commonplace junk journal. And now we proceed to the 365 journal. Um, hefty, hefty, hefty boy, as always. And I do have like an idea of how I would like somehow reduce any more bulk at the end of this uh, quarter. So we're going to talk about that in a bit. But yeah, I do have like the ribbon here and this is where we start. October, as I've said, is my birth month, so there are quite a bit of like um, fun events happening in here. I do collage a lot in here and like give myself freedom. Colorful and maximalist. For the first day of the month, I was like um, greeted by a cute shiny Fluffy. Um, I think this was the third of the middle evolutions that I have shiny in Pokemon Sleep. Um, it is fun, and also I did a shiny hunting in um, Legends Arceus again. Um, one thing to find a shiny alpha for some reason because I was watching Party Arlie's um, channel or videos um, during this time wherein she hunts for like shiny alphas and I thought like um, maybe I would uh, try to challenge myself to get a shiny alpha as well. However, like I went down to like that marsh place or like the place where Combi is 
and hit the very first shaking tree that I came across and it was actually a shiny alpha and I'm like okay this challenge ended in like five minutes and I stopped playing there next um, the other stuff that I did during October or like the majority of October is crocheting um, I haven't been feeling quite well to be perfectly honest so I did a bunch of like crocheting in preparation for our Kansibu this November um, like pouches dice bags and scrunchies that I will be bringing to Cebu and that is basically all that I did whenever I have free time and um, here we went um, you say the RC with like uh, my brother's friends and it is uh, what we didn't know it's quite like a grotesque horror museum beside a furniture store I do have a whole vlog of that up on my channel if you're interested but it was like a very spooky um, museum and it was quite fun for me as a horror fan and also here um, as always when it comes to like my brother's uh, Shopee account or shop whenever my brother's like out of town <laughs> there's always like a delivery for Shopee and I'm quite fine with that um, it means more more business more deliveries Next we have here is like just a list of all of the shows like horror supernatural shows that I wanted to watch for a certain video that I was planning for October but it didn't uh, push through so I just left it here. I basically watched all of the supernatural anime that I have listed and for horror I just didn't watch Dom 100 just yet. I don't know I wasn't feeling it at the time but I do have like a wrap up video of this already like posted um, two days ago um, when I am going to post this video. Um, but it was today when I filmed this that I posted that video. Some photos taken from like my co-op with my friends. There are four of us and it's pretty perfect. I always like mention this to my friends that it's pretty perfect uh, for the four Sumero boys that each of us has our own like favorite. Like um, Abby is Alhaitham, uh, Nika is Kave, uh, Rana is Sino, and I am Tinari. And each of us have our own like favorite Sumero boy and we don't really like um, take another person's character whenever we co-op and that's, that seems like very fun for us. And here is my birthday. Um, uh, Ali did give me like a cat scaramouche cake as a surprise and I'm very happy with that. And also that Marius that I pulled uh, my first time on my birthday. This is as far as my birthday luck went on that day. And then the next day was the Big Bad Wolf book sale. Um, I did list down here and also Pokemon Violet. Um, my best friend and I went there. I did happen to meet another friend of ours in college there as well, unplanned. And also uh, one of my friends, Roy, also came by and gifted me a peppermint mocha that uh, he brewed himself and it was quite uh, nice and delicious and bitter. And then here is my journaling for the 2-in-1 Tenpole Jingyu. I don't have other prints except this one, so I just place it there. This is uh, when I found my very first uh, shiny in Pokemon Violet, which is a shiny Mareep. Um, there is this shiny hunting method, like the uh, massive mass outbreak method in uh, Pokemon Violet or Scarlet, wherein you have to knock out 60 um, months in that horde before you could like reset for it. And I barely hit 60. I think it was 32 when the shiny Mareep um, popped up. And it was like fate. I named her Foof. And I used her uh, fighting through the Elite Four and Champion. And it was very fun. This is when I binge watch all of those horror anime that I've listed earlier, and this is the completion of uh, Pokemon Violet. I just journaled here a bit. Um, for each of like the um, Pokemon, like Elite Four, I do have like favorites for Elite Four, Gym Leader, and also the Team Star Admin. So for the Elite Four, I really like Rika. For the um, Gym Leaders, I really love um, Grusha and Larry. And for the Team Star, I really adore Ortega, even though uh, he is a typical botchan. <laughs> And then Area Zero. Area Zero was very fun. This is like a very memorable hunt for me. So I have been like after um, defeating all of these and completing the main story of Pokemon Violet, it's only when the Five Star Terra raids happen. And Five Star Terra, as I've said earlier, drops Herba Mystica. So I have been like uh, grinding for hours trying to get Herba Mysticas because I know that um, the only possibility of dropping is like one and it's very rare as well. So you need two Herba Mysticas in order to create a sparkling sandwich. So I grind it up a bit in order to get like five and just reset for it. Like reset the sandwich if ever I will not get a shiny in that uh, 30 minute span of a sandwich. And I did happen to not get like the shiny that I'm looking for in the first sandwich. I reset and made another one. I was gunning for Iron Valiant, which is the reason why I bought this game in the first place. And I got her second sparkling sandwich and uh, I named her Chrome 
And as soon as like there are still like 15 minutes left into the sandwich, so I decided to like maybe look for Iron Hands next time. And when I went out of that secret cavern where Iron Valiant is spawning, uh, I reached this little like water area, and there is just that very cute shiny Vaporeon standing there and not even boosted by the shiny uh, sandwich. So it means uh, since I don't have shiny charm, it is like full odds. And I really enjoy that. Uh, it's fun. I named him Sebi for some reason um, because that's like the only like merman-esque um, name that I can think of as of the moment. Uh, Sebi for Sebastian. So yeah, um, they are now my new like terror raiders that I'm trying to like um, raise. And then here my brother... Um, also went back to Cebu for a photo shoot and another like delivery for me like for the whole week there wasn't any orders for Shopee but as soon as he left um, uh, I got an order for Animal Crossing like my Animal Crossing bags that I have crocheted it has been on the store for like a few months before it got sold but this girl that bought it uh, bought both and I'm very much happy um, that she got both and yeah, I'm not going to make any of those um, Animal Crossing bags as of the moment. I don't have the yarn for it, but I'm happy that it got sold. And also, this was the day when I bought the last book that I had for like the Big Bad Wolf. This was also the last day. And I was surprised actually to find my best friend was also there at the same time when I was there looking for a book. Um, we didn't plan it. We didn't even talk about like us going there, but somehow we also uh, found each other there during the book sale for the second time. So it was like part two of our book hunting was fun. Um, here I also have like another shiny. This is the last shiny that I got for the month. Uh, I noticed that you can't actually see. Um, I think I still have a photo of it so I'm just going to like edit it on the screen. It is a shiny finizen. My uh, high school bestie Kyle wanted me to shiny hunt for a the dolphin Pokemon uh, he calls it. So it's finizen um, and I told him if I get a shiny he could name it and I ended up getting a shiny. However, I almost failed it because I was panicking. I saved and then when I turned around, the shiny um, ran past me and despawned. Luckily, I've saved before uh, he despawned. So I got him and I told him, um, I told Kyle he could name the shiny dolphin and it was a guy. And he was like, I wanted to name a girl. So like, fine, I'll name the guy Finzen. And I named him Jean, like the gender neutral Jean uh, spelling. Um, so that uh, it is in honor of Jean the Arc uh, Summer uh, Archer Jean, who also has a dolphin, and I really love that. So, so that is like the last shiny that I got this month. Um, this is like more crocheting, and I changed up a bit my style. I made this like a life update situation here. Um, I haven't been journaling that much, but I just keep up with it every now and then if I have like the mood or the time. Um, I have been crocheting a lot, especially with um, TGDCC. Um, on this day, actually, I believe is uh, when TGDCC started, which is like a local con. I wasn't able to go. Uh, however, I did consign some of my dice bags there, and some of them got sold, and I'm very happy about that. Um, Health-wise, I got uh, quite sick and nauseous these days. I did a bit of reading, uh, but not really finishing all of the books that I have started. Like I read like a few chapters and then um, stop. As for my games, I also like did bare minimum because I felt burnt out, and then those are like for future plans. Um, more crocheting, more journaling, and this time I do I did watch a few like spooky, scary anime, and these are like for my future plans. Um, I know this is very early to uh, talk about this, but I am planning on doing vlogmas. Not necessarily the vlogmas wherein um, I vlog every day, like a natural, like a traditional sense of vlogmas but rather um, I'll just post like a video for 25 days in December and majority of them are pre-filmed because I am very busy when it comes to like the last two weeks of November so um, in order to accommodate 25 videos I'm going to be bulk pre-filming majority of them so yeah um, these um, drawings are from me of like this is 2014 this is 2018 I do have a video about this but it will be for like vlogmas but um, old sketchbook tours basically so yeah just a little teaser for that and also this one I really love this I did like do a bunch of like um, ink wash and pen only sketches for streetwear or street style um, fashion during the time so uh, 2018 like the peak of um, my art journey and these are all of the anime and also their respective um, what do you call this uh, rating for them I have a video as I've said for all of these um, me talking about them and I also um, this day was the local elections for like our barangay so yeah and the last day memories from October 
and this is the last page for like my October pages. Just a little bit when it comes to the memories, but it's very chaotic and I also got very sick, so this is fine. Um, it's very eventful and very happy with my October experience. And um, mind you, this is a tomato and not a pumpkin, but it really looks like a pumpkin, so I just stuck it there. Now we proceed to the challenge that I have enforced on myself for the month of November, even though I know it's going to be very busy, but I have um, been wanting to do this style again. I think I have done this already like in previous months. I don't recall which month it was, but um, I only use like seal stickers. Um, no, I, I can't recall which month that was, but only these types of stickers that I have been hoarding for like years. This has been like back in college and some like early 2000 and I haven't been buying any of like these types of stickers anymore because I have a whole bag um but I have counted them like I believe these are all of the ones that I have left in my purse sign unless I um forgot and hid a pack somewhere so they usually come in like packs of six or eight um sticker sheets and they're lovely and fun to use so I have um counted them and overall all of my seal stickers these are called are 83 sheets I do have like these ones um uh, the return of the alpha stickers but only these types um i'm going to use these for like numbers for the dates like these ones so they are 22 sheets here and then icon deco stickers um like these ones um on the transparent um backings um these are from my aunt actually like many many years ago i don't even recall when but i was still like in elementary school maybe so a good like 10 to 12 no not 12 um 15 a good 15 years maybe um, of these so I don't know uh, what brand this is where did this come from but I do know that this is from Canada and so I'm going to try to use these um, during the month and also this one I just got this from like a local like bookstore or like a stationery store I mean so those and um, in total um, 22 uh, number stickers uh, sheets and five of the icon deco sheets for a whopping total of 110 sticker sheets that I can play around with for the whole month. I'm not gonna count these. These are like Nandemo Creatives, like um, journaling stickers. Um, this is uh, the Teyvat flowers for Genshin. I really love this. I actually just want to keep this around and not use it because they're so beautiful. I also have washi tapes of this, but yeah, I have used like some of these for like past um, spreads, but I'm not going to count these ones for the challenge for this month however i am wanting to get like a bigger dent off of these seal stickers and in the case we're in for example i do have like only a little bit like of a sheet left i could always like for example there's only three left by the end of the month i could always transfer those three to another sheet if i would um just so to like save space and also count as to my total i will be keeping all of like the empty uh sheets by the end of the month so that we could see and uh, uh, i could be accountable if i'm really using all of the stuff that i have so this is my sort of like mini stash lock for the month of november and yeah you could join me if you want um pick out just a few items that you're going to be using for the whole month and just focus there and that is it for the month uh, of october for all of my notebooks and that is it for this video. I hope you enjoy and I will see you in the next video that I am going to pull up. And yeah, see you then. So until then guys, take care and bye.